Wow, what is this place? This is Zimbabwe. When I say Zimbabwe is one of the most underrated countries, this is what I mean. Before we get into this place, how exactly did we get here? Let's roll back. <laughs> After experiencing the beautiful Mutare, we now setting out to Nyanga, which is part of the Eastern Highlands, and I'm super excited to bring you on a very scenic road drive all the way, and our first stop is going to be in Mutarazi Falls. Come with us, and I hope you enjoy this. This is what a typical shopping center looks like. I'm telling you, this looks like a lot of African countries. If you've watched my videos in different African countries, you can surely attest to the fact that this looks like just any other African country. This is what small shopping centers look like. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Wow. Okay, so what's this here? Something special uh -huh. about this place is this is some trout ponds. Uh-huh. Okay, so trout is part of the salmon family. Uh-huh. And the only reason why you find it in Nyanga uh -huh. is because the water temperature in Nyanga uh -huh. um, just is ranging around your between three to four degrees. Uh-huh. Cool. Oh, and that fish can only be found here. Yes. Oh. So this it's part of the salmon family from from North America. Ah. Yeah, so it's called it's called the Nyanga trout. Nyanga trout. So once the water temperature goes beyond six degrees, mm -hmm. the oxygen in the water is no longer enough for that for that trout to survive. Ah. And that's why. So here, because it's cooler, yeah, as you can feel the breeze, uh -huh. the water temperature is good. And the second thing is, it needs fresh water. So they had to they had to divert water uh -huh. from the river, flows into the pond. As you can see, it just goes out straight. Oh. So the water has to be flowing. If it's still water, again it dies. Mm. Yeah. So that's that's one unique thing about Nyanga. 
very cold. Come and I'll show you what the fish looks like. Oh, let's see what that fish looks like. Interesting, eh? You can only find it in Yanga. If oh. we're if we're going to cook, we'll cook it. But anyway, but there's you've got you've got smoked trout, right? Not today. Not even samosas. The samosas they are finished. Ah, uh, is it? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you for finishing the samosas. It's a final day. Yeah. After that quick stop to see the Nyanga trout, so it's now time to head to our next major stop, which is to see the Mtarazi Falls. A lot of people told me that I must see the Mtarazi Falls. But to be honest, I never thought that trout was actually a type of fish. So this is the importance of traveling because you get to learn a lot of things along the way. Anyway, let's head straight to Mtarazi Falls. <laughs> On the way to Mtarazi Falls, it's just stopped somewhere here for a view. Apparently, you are able to see the Honda Valley. So let me go and check out. Or let's go and check out Honda Valley, Honda view from this place. This is the path. Oh, wow. Whew. Wow. So that's Honda? Yeah. Interesting. So we're actually on top of a mountain. Yeah, we're 2,000 meters above here. How's our breathing? <laughs> Hiking down to the falls through this forest. Ah, look at how this tree twists itself. This tree, yeah. it twists itself like a rope. Yeah, it does. All the way. There we go. We are finally at Mtarazi Falls. I can't wait to see the falls themselves. It's the second highest falls in, it's the highest falls in Zimbabwe actually, and second highest in Africa. So, hello. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Where is the fault? The mountain pass a bridge. Does the bridge shake? Yes. It does. Huh? It does. We do have here at Mutarazi two activities which are skywalk, there's two bridges, 40 meter first one, by 90 meter the bottom one. 
We also do have the zip line or skyline, of which you use the first bridge as the connecting one. Yeah. And then you take a 10 minute hike to the starting point, and then you slide on those 400 meter cables, of which uh, it is also the highest zip line in the world on natural ground. How many meters? 400 meters across and 600 meters touching the ground. After experiencing the majestic Mutarazi Falls, it's now time to head to Troutbeck Nyaga Resort. I'm super excited and I just want to bring you the panoramic views of this beautiful, I mean, God really took his time when he was carving the eastern highlands of Zimbabwe. Let's enjoy the scenic drive to the Troutbeck Resort in Nyaga. I arrived at Troutbeck Nyanga as the sun was setting and I must tell you this place is just so beautiful. Generally the whole of Nyanga region is just super amazing and the air here is very different. It's so chill, the weather is so chill even as much as the sun is shining. There's just some chill. I think it's because there's a lot of trees around this area and the air is just so fresh. <laughs> Welcome to the most beautiful resort here in Nyanga, Eastern Highlands, Zimbabwe. I had the privilege of visiting and actually staying and experiencing Troutbeck. A lot of you guys told me like I must check out Troutbeck and I'm so happy to bring you my experience in this very beautiful place here in Zimbabwe. Super excited! Come let's go, let's check out Troutbeck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, 30 minutes ago. Not so, not so long. Why? <laughs> yeah, you were worried that you were going to Going for breakfast. Good morning. Good hey, good morning, Ma. How are you? I'm good. Good morning. activities that you can actually do here at Troutbeck Nyanga such as horse racing people do fishing you can do canoeing and a lot of other things I, this place is just packed with activities so you can actually canoe and do some boat ride here this is the lake and just behind that is the accommodation Come guys, let me show you the room. What a very lovely place. So let me just give you a glimpse of everything that you can actually find in this room. about my favorite thing about Troutbeck Nyanga first it's the views I love water the fact that I get up and I see water really makes me super excited but one of the most important thing is the air this just the air here is very different place if you've never breathed any different air if you want to feel alive the air here actually makes you feel alive trust me i'm not kidding i'm not bluffing about this you just need to visit troutbeck nyanga in order for you to experience this this place is so clean green and the air here makes you feel alive it carries all your stress away and makes you feel super relaxed wow <music>
thank you so much for watching this episode i hope you truly enjoyed it as i enjoyed experiencing everything in this video so make sure you hit the like button share and subscribe and let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section which was your favorite part of this video and until next time kwaheri goodbye